Yes, we come to the ninth video. Um, I've called it yoga with weights, but it's more, it's a bit more of a Pilates setup, really. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so we're gonna go. We're gonna basically, I've gone with the theme so far. The last eight of just uh, doing one leg and two arms. No matter what it is, no matter what exercise it is, it could be here, here, here. <clears throat> just for the sake of just getting that one leg phase, um, which we've gone into detail on the, on the eight. So, I'm um, going to go straight in. All we're going to do is just come here. So we're going to do a bit of a rotor cuff one. Again, your rotor cuff muscles, you've got scapularis, which is right on the shoulder blade. That's more of a medial rotator this way. Um, but you've got other muscles in there, teres minor, supraspinatus, all these little slivers that go through the sockets really, they don't always get worked, so they're good to work. Um, sometimes they can get out of balance, where we're working all the other muscles and we're not really working them. So I'm gonna do a bit with this, it can be as light as you like, even on the one kilo sometimes you might find it, or even lighter. Um, it depends on how slow you go basically. Even a lighter weight you can make harder by slowing it down. So we've got all the Pilates principles in there, and the reason I say it's yoga, it's like there's a lot of one leg stuff um, in there, but hey ho. So, uh, yoga Pilates with weights, whatever you like. So, we're gonna go into this same deal. So, main thing, keeping these traps, these upper traps, these are very active in everyday life. They wanna take over, they're very strong, these upper traps, the way we live, you know, doing different things. Uh, stress etc. So we want to work the lower traps, basically the traps, think of a kite, it goes up between your shoulder blades, out to the shoulders and up to the neck. Okay, so you've got lower parts, upper parts. So we want to work the stuff that helps us keep the shoulders down. Okay, we're strong there already, the upper verge, upper parts of the traps, so we want to keep the shoulders down. We want to strengthen the muscles for good posture, slow as harder, fast as easier. So Special on the negative phase coming down, but I'll go through that as we go. We're just going to keep the breathing in. Could do a little bit of Pilates breathing before we start, and these muscles go together. I think it's a good thing to do just to remind you where they come from. So, here, two middle fingers across the belt line from the hips. Below is the pelvic floor, above is the corset muscle. Okay, they both link on here. Three layers deep, we've got the corset muscle here above this B-line, bikini line, belt line, you're gonna call that. And that links on my cling film to my pelvic floor, which is below that B-line, okay, the pelvic floor there. So, again, if you cough or sneeze, <coughs> it just, you feel them both go together. So, I'm gonna say, zip up pelvic floor, scoop angle abdominals, or zip up pelvic floor, throw in your corset, okay, they go together anyway, but I'm gonna go through it segmentally, just to, that was just to re reassure you that these muscles work together. So pelvic floor and corset muscle go together. And we do a little bit of breathing before we start. Again, I'm, I'm probably skimming through this. Make sure you're nice and warm before this. Um, and then you go straight in. We do a little bit of breathing now. So we're just gonna go two middle fingers here, palms and lower lobes and lungs. And as you zip up pelvic floor and gather in, you'll feel that breath go up here to these lower lobes and lungs, anywhere but our stomach, because this corset muscle is three layers deep, wrapping around our spine, okay? So, again, we don't want to be sort of blown out here. A lot of yoga, or yo qigong breathing, breathes into the belly like a balloon, that's fine for meditative stuff, etc. or meridians, or, um, yeah, basically massaging your organs. But here, with weight, we're gonna be throwing that corset. If you've got bad backs, etc., we're gonna be able to throw in that corset and tuck in here. So zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. So basically the first is gonna be an exhale, positive phase, the negative phase is gonna be an inhale. Okay, slow as hard or fast as easier. If you can keep the shoulders here, elbows in line with shoulders. If you wanna drop them a little bit, you can do. Okay, because that, if you find this is going on a lot, you might do. Okay, but yeah, so it's not the end of the world if everything's not completely and utterly aligned. So you might not need a lot of weight with these. We go for the modifications. So you can, here, you might want to go 
two arms one leg, cross you empty this foot in a cat stance, breathing back down. Then alternate to the other one. The other leg, okay, exhale, opposite foot, breathing back down. If that's a little bit, um, yeah, if that's a little bit easy, then you can always go leg off the floor just a little bit, again coming up and back down. Or you can take it all the way up. Again, I like to have my hands a little bit lower because I'm very overactive here from years of boxing or um, yeah, whatever. So if you want to sort of have your hands here, you can do it. See what suits you. So we're going to go straight in and do it as we go. So zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, lengthen up for the crown. You're going to exhale, either foot the floor a little bit or not, and breathing, come back down here. Then we go again. It's a exhale. Breathing and coming back down. I'm looking down at the camera, okay? So you might want to be sort of lengthen up a little bit here, okay? Again, lengthen up for the crown, exhale, empty one leg, breathing back down. Feel that soft cushion of the earth, it can be here or up here. I prefer here because I know these come in, okay? Exhaling up, breathing in back down. Remember, slow is harder, fast is easier. It's a <sighs> exhale through purse lips. Breathing back down in that negative phase. Slow as harder, fast as easier. Let's go four more. Exhale. Slow as harder, fast as easier, especially in this negative phase. As that foot melts down in towards the floor, it's a exhale. Shoulders down, lengthen up for the crown. Breathing in, coming back down. And it's a exhale. Breathing in, coming back down. Again, you could always come to here just have a little bit of a stretch from what you've just done so you might want to take a hand behind the back again here if you've got trouble with a rotor cuff you might struggle with that but um, again here just grabbing a hand here and just yeah just hold in there for a while because you just work the rotor cuffs and the rotor cuffs do a lot of this turning lateral rotation okay so again we just do do the opposite. To stretch something, you just do the opposite of the motion you've just done. Here, you just take hand behind the back. Here, can you even come to here? Something's out the chest a little bit. Gathering, zip up and hollow still, just to get the quality. Again, optional how long you want to spend this. Want to spend as long as you like with stretches, okay? Again, same, same deal with your posture, shoulders down. And here, you can hug a tree. It can be here, here, or out here, again, chin on the chest, and you just, I like to pull out here, it gets these rhomboids here, so you have a good stretch there, you want to stretch the shoulders also, we can stretch here, the deltoids there, yeah, you know, for as long as you like, I'm just going through these, and then we can go back with the quality, so we did one more set, again, I'm, the reps are optional to you, like I say, with the reps, they tend to, tend to say, you know, like below 10, might be going for strength, at six power, whatever, above 12 is endurance. If you're doing these super, super slow, if you're doing six super, super, super Tai Chi speed slow, that's going to do endurance. Don't care what you say, how many reps you're doing. Obviously, we're doing lighter weights as well. So see what suits you. Exploit the speed and tempo. You sort of start doing this, shaking all over the show. If it's the last couple of reps, maybe, fine. But, you know, then just stop it. Stop it. Find, you know, you can forget reps. You can just go to your exhaust. You know, as soon as you sort of get a little wobble, that's fine. But maybe one or two and then stop again. You know, you don't want to be sort of shaking Stevens doing it. Okay, so just keep it simple. Reps are fine, but they can set you up to fail at a certain number. Um, so, yeah, so I digress. Let's go back in. Second set there. So from here, we're going to empty one leg, fill up the next. Remember, Got the cat stance there if you like. You can be down here. If you want to be a bit lower, it's not the end of the world. I know it's not completely aligned, but you know, we're not made completely aligned. You know what I mean? If you stop your shoulders coming up, then take your hands a little bit lower. If you want to start here, fine. Again, exhale through purse lips, breathing back down. And you empty the other cat stance foot, exhale out through purse lips, breathing back down. Remember, slow as heart. Slow as harder, fast as easier. Exhale, breathing, come down. I won't force back this way. I'll just literally hang here, 
keep it stable, shoulders are down. If you want to empty the leg a little bit or a lot, optional. Exhale, breathing coming back down. Feel that soft cushion of the earth. It's a nice resonant out breath. That works like a cough or sneeze. Naturally helps to zip up and scoop out your abdominals. Lengthen up for the crown. I know I'm looking down there to the camera. You might want to be shoulders over hips, head over shoulders, lengthen up for the crown. So we've got a puppet string, a hook, a brace on your head, pulling you up towards the ceiling. Empty one leg, fill up the next. Feel that soft cushion of the earth. Exhale, breathing coming back down. It's a uh, <sighs> breathing coming back down. Again, exhale. Breathing, coming back down. Let's just do a couple more. Empty one leg, fill up the next, then go again. Exhale, breathing in. Yes, so again, reps are optional. If you do 10, for, you know, something 10, something like that might be good. The quality, you might not be able to do 10. You might do lighter weights than that, whatever. Um, take yourself out of the rep thing. If you can go with the speed and the tempo, slow as hard, fast as easier then go with that, so especially on that negative phase, so especially on the way down, okay, that's the hardest phase, that's where you really want to exploit that speed and tempo and make it as easy or as hard as you like, you want to come out and have a stretch, got any injuries, go back in, go light if you want, um, again I'm not doing a heavy weights thing anyway, but uh, again we're just exploiting the speed and tempo, Pilates style, okay, Slow as hard or fast as easy. Even with a lightweight, you can make it hard. Like I say, if you did six, you know, this slow with a weight, you'll make it hard some way. Um, and keep gathering in. Shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. Lengthen up for the crown. Like I said, optional, um, I think I said on the other video, if you want to go barefoot, feel free. Just be wary, you're not dropping weights on your feet. Um, I tend to like shoes sometimes. Um, Yes, so basically easier though when you're barefoot to lengthen out between big toe, little toe. The best thing is to think of a Mexican wave. If you're barefoot, you can do this. You can lengthen from little toe to big toe. And again, just think of a tripod from big toe to little toe to the center of your heel, like a tripod rooting you in. Then roots are grown up, nourishing the body from the floor. And that just gives you an idea. But like I say, you will be able to do that better in barefoot. So I'll leave it with you. Obviously, I'm just going for the sakey thing of dropping on the toes or whatever. But um, yeah, so slow as hard or fast as easier. Gathering, zip up and hollow. And yeah, all them principles are in there. So that's the ninth one, I think. Yeah, ninth video on yoga and Pilates with weights bags.